Alrighty, so picking up where we left off in the last video, the next scroll that we are going for is the Joker scroll. And for that one, I've opted to go for a melee setup, similar to the Earth Warriors one, but now we can use our Betson slot that we have since it is not in the wilderness and we have no fear of losing items. Even though we didn't get attacked over there, but still. Anyways, I'll be using this setup. I am bringing Claws for some extra damage. I'm bringing an SGS if I need to heal up. And then the rest is just super combat potions. Some Angler if I do need it. Uh, the Herb Sack because they do drop herbs. The Bone Crusher because it'll give us that nice Prayer XP. And the rest of our Cannonball Stack, which as you can see, we still have plenty left. Hopefully we don't have to use all of them. And hopefully the uh, luck continues from the first couple of scrolls that I've been doing. So let's get into it. I'll be placing the cannon right here and the cannon will be aggroing and I just realized this area is multi. For some reason I was thinking that it was going to be singles but that's good. So actually yeah that's really good. Um, unfortunately they do drop this grimy rogue purse and this grimy snakeweed which are untradeable drops so they will be appearing here but um, yeah I guess we'll just get used to that. Oh, and there's a clue scroll right there. Clue scroll medium. Not the scroll that we're after, but I will definitely take it. I'm sure there'll be some uh, some ranger boots at the end of that. But yeah, I don't think this is going to be too painful. Again, hopefully we get lucky and hopefully we get it early on. Because this is the second to last scroll that we need. After this, we are going to be doing the lesser demon scroll. And that is going to be done in rev caves, which is... A very dangerous spot, so we're probably going to die a couple times, but hopefully it goes well. I suppose I could do it in the Catacombs of Karend as well, for a chance at getting some totems. But, um, I think Rev Caves is ultimately faster, because it is a multi-area and there are a bunch of demons down there. So, that'll most likely be what I what I do for the uh, Lesser Demon Scroll. Alrighty, so a little while ago we passed 1,000 kills. We are currently at 1,013. And I gotta say, I am still enjoying this. Now, obviously I probably won't be saying that if I'm here for like another 20 or 30 hours. But, <sighs> again, if I go dry on a scroll, this one wouldn't be a bad one to go dry on. Um, yeah, it's really, really AFK. I mean, I'm able to watch, you know, streams or YouTube videos, so... Yeah, still enjoying it as of right now, but we'll see how it goes a couple more hours from now, or a couple minutes from now, if I do happen to get the scroll. Alrighty, so not too long ago, we did pass the halfway mark, meaning we passed 2,500 kills. I'm currently at 2,595 halfway to the scroll. Again, of course, it's not guaranteed, but, you know, if we were to get it on drop rate, we're halfway. So, during the making of this video, there was an update, which means I had to restart my client. Which means we're not going to have all of the kills in one nice organized loot tab. But, I did start recording again, and we can just add up the two once we finally get the scroll. So, here it is. And this was the same update that released the... Well, actually, it was... It released a lot of stuff, but I think the most important one was the Rocky recolors. So, you'll be seeing that red panda later on throughout this video. Alrighty, so, after I whip this guy, there we go, it is official, we are now over 5,000 kills with no scroll. Never lucky. <laughs> um, honestly, it's, it's still, I'm, I'm still having a good time, you know, like, of course I would like to have gotten all of the scrolls under drop rate, but, you know, it's, it's fine, it's, uh, to be expected. And honestly, this isn't a bad place to uh, to go dry at. So, they have the audacity to tell me that I've been playing for a while and that I should consider taking a break from my screen. You know what? That sounds like a great idea. I, I will take a break as soon as I get that scroll. Or as soon as I get six hour logged, I guess, whichever comes first. I've officially reached... 10,000 Joker kills without receiving the scroll. And I gotta say, it's a bit depressing. 
I mean, I, I kind of deserve it, you know, for going so lucky on the other ones. But I got to say, it kind of sucks being here for uh, multiple days grinding this out. Um, but you know what? At least we're getting some seeds. As you can see here, I've been holding on to all of the seeds that I've had. Uh, I had to deposit the herb sack already because we did fill it up with the Ranars. And I'm going to have to do it again soon. We're one away from having to deposit again. But I have been holding on to all the seeds, and they are valued at quite a bit. So, almost 2 mil in Ranars, and almost 500k in Snapdragons. So, yeah. Alrighty, there it is. I finally got it, man. Whew! I mean, I... <laughs> Again, that was kind of deserved to go dry on at least one of them. Uh, but man, it, it, it still sucks having to kill that many to get one scroll but you know what that's fine we finally have it it is in our inventory and we can now continue on with the last scroll and here is a look at the loot checker as you can see we have 7247 kills here but if we add that with the other ones that we got before the client got reset it took us a total of about 10746 kills to get the champion scroll so quite a lot and yeah there it is at the very well you can't even see it let me raise it up a little bit there it is right there down there um so yeah we actually made a pretty decent amount of money on the seeds we did pick up all the ranars and the snapdragon seeds so a good amount of money there and of course the ranars as well and a look at the xp rates of course, you can add this with the other list that I have that I got before the client reset, and it's still quite a lot just here alone. Alrighty, so here I am geared up for the Lesser Demon scroll. I went ahead and brought some Black Dehyde because I don't feel like dying and losing a lot of stuff. I also brought the Serp Helm because I'm going to try out a method. Basically, I'm going to use the Serp Helm to instantly poison all of the demons in the room. And hopefully that'll speed up some of the kills. And then whenever, whenever I'm not um, obviously trying to poison them, then I'll probably take it off to save on scales. But this might not be a permanent thing. I might swap it out for just like a regular Archer's Helm or something. But for now, I think I'm going to try this out. And this is the rest of my setup. Only bringing 1,000 cannonballs because, again, I don't feel like losing a whole lot. And my strategy is to do this on a 2,200 skill total world. I'm really hoping that... Nobody's going to be there at the Lesser Demon spot on a 2200 world. I know there's clans that have Revenants locked down on the skill total worlds, but the spot that I'm going to be in is like on the other side of the caves, so I'm really hoping that we don't run into anybody, but um, we'll just see how it goes. Oh yeah, I... Oh, okay, cool. They dropped some nice stuff, some Rune Med Helms. Reminds me of that one Lesser Demon that's up in the uh, Wizard Tower that I used to kill back in the day and use telekinetic grab on the uh, rune med helms. Good times, good times. If you're considering going for the champion cape, you can actually get the lesser demon scroll with... I was gonna say, without even trying. I mean, you are trying, but um, essentially it saves you the time that you would normally spend here grinding it out. If you do a lot of uh, Zami from God Wars Dungeon, you can actually get it there. So you might actually save yourself some time by grinding out that boss. Similar to grinding out Vedion for the Skeleton Scroll, you can also get it there. So some of these scrolls actually have pretty cool alternatives that you can do that will, I guess you could say, would make it a lot more efficient. So consider doing that. But me, since I'm just going for the Champion's Cape straight up as fast as possible, I'm going to do it here because if I tried my luck at Zami, it would probably take me a very, very long time to get the scroll that way. Now again, I am on a 2200 skill total world, so I don't think anybody's going to be here. I think the only person that would actually come here is someone who's either on a Slayer task or someone who's also grinding out the cape. But as far as PKers go, I don't think we'll be bothered because, again, these, these worlds are locked down, but it's over here in the Revenant cave area. So I don't think they'd bother coming over here, but who knows, they might surprise us. So something you might want to consider bringing, if you're not bringing the Explorer's Ring 4, is possibly a Ring of Wealth, because in the Loot Tracker we've done already 115 kills, and there's about 20k in cash 
just in coins that are being dropped. So a ring of wealth might actually be a good item to bring. Tooth half of key. All right, all right. Getting some nice loot here. Might consider bringing a looting bag. Actually, yeah, I might consider that because the first time I came here, I had four spaces taken up by the cannon. So now I actually have more space to bring other stuff. So I might actually consider bringing a looting bag so I can get all of the insold heads as well. So yeah, so far this method isn't very AFK because I'm constantly attacking all the demons with the Serp Helm on. Uh, and of course I have to be on the lookout for PKers, but honestly the kills are going by pretty quickly. So even if we get this on drop rate of 5,000 kills, it should be not that bad. I don't think it'll be too terrible of a time. And since we're killing demons, I think the proper music I'm going to listen to right now is the... The Doom soundtrack. I think it's fitting. I mean, come on, we're, we're killing demons. It makes perfect sense. And who knows, maybe it'll give us some good luck. Even though this soundtrack is two hours long, but hopefully we get it earlier than that. I gotta say, it's a lot more epic when you're blasting the uh, Doom soundtrack. <laughs> it makes this more exciting. Unfortunately, you can't hear it because of, you know, copyright reasons, but uh, yeah, I highly recommend listening to it whenever you are killing demons. Makes it a lot more fun. We've officially reached 1,000 kills. No scroll yet. Never lucky, but it's all good. Uh-oh, somebody got killed there. <laughs> Hopefully they're not searching around. I mean, if they killed somebody there at Green Dragons, then there's probably going to be someone here. Oh god, I hope not. Because if they saw the cannon, then they'll come back. Which is not good. Hmm, let me double check. Okay, so there was someone dead over here at Green Dragons. Which, I mean, maybe they were running from Revenants and they got chased it down here? Maybe. That's what I'm hoping. Because if there's someone that's checking all of these rooms, that is not good. We are being hunted. <laughs> I think I'm slowly losing my mind. Or I'm just having these weird thoughts. Um, I don't know why, but I was I was kiting the, uh, the lesser demons around the cannon right now. And for whatever reason, I thought that I got a lesser demon pet. It was one of these dudes, one of these guys that looks like this. And it's, it's such a weird thing because obviously you can't get a pet here, but I thought I did for like a split second. And then I thought like, what if, what if there were pets in this game that were like the size, like the actual size of whatever you killed. So for instance, if you, if you got a lesser demon pet, this is how big he would be if he followed you. That'd be a little crazy. Or if you killed Bandos, you'd have like a full size Bandos like following you. Or I'm sorry, not Bandos, General Grardor. That, that'd be a little wild. I don't think the worlds would be able to to handle that if like a lot of people had them out at the same time, but I don't know. Just uh just random thoughts as I'm here killing these uh lesser demons. Another random thought or thing I guess you could say is uh I feel kinda bad for these demons whenever I kill them. They look like they're in some serious pain. <laughs> After I kill them, they like get on their knees and like hold their head like if they're being sent to the Shadow Realm or something. I feel really bad now. Look at that. So much pain. But you know what? This wouldn't have to happen anymore if they just gave me the scroll, you know? Whoever's hiding the scroll, if they just coughed it up, this wouldn't happen. I wouldn't have to inflict this much pain upon all of these poor demons. Look at that guy right there. Who's hiding it? Just give it up. Quite the drop we were looking for, um, but we did get a dragon spear, which is, I'm pretty sure a lot more, I'm pretty sure it's a lot more rare than the uh, lesser demon scrolls, so that's a little upsetting, but yeah, we did get one of those. And I had no idea that the emblem trader could wander in here. He must have a pretty big wander distance because he entered the tunnel that I was in like, like nothing. I, I just, he, he, surprised, he scared me at first. I thought it was like a mage that was going <laughs> to hit me with the... Uh, the nightmare staff but yeah i don't know he just came in here and walked around for a little bit 
pretty, uh, pretty rude if you ask me. So unfortunately, we did not get the scroll before it was time for me to upload another video. I spent a whole lot of hours in this one and yeah, we didn't get it, but that's fine. I mean, we did get pretty lucky on the first one, so it's to be expected. Um, unfortunately, I'm also going to have to restart my computer after this, so just like the Joker portion of the video, the Lesser Demon loot table will also be broken up into two, or more if we get super super unlucky, but hopefully it's not the case. So that's it for now, hope you enjoyed. If you did, please consider giving the video a thumbs up and possibly a subscription, and as always, I will catch you guys in the next episode.